Howdy, I'm Joel Newton, the associate pastor here at St. John's in Park Rapids. We're here in our sanctuary, and you can see things are a little empty today. Now, this isn't a time people would normally be in here, but I'll tell you it's not much fuller than this on Sundays right now. We're not able to meet together like we normally can, and that's created, at least for me, a feeling of some solitude and, and loneliness. And in darker moments, some severe loneliness, not being able to get together with the people that we want so desperately to see. It's caused me to think about another guy who was lonely, Michael Collins, or I should say who I thought was lonely. He's the guy that orbited the moon while Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin uh, landed on the moon. And for Michael Collins, the Apollo 11 mission was one of 24 or 25 orbits around the moon and 47 minutes of each orbit was with complete radio silence, being 230,000 plus miles away from Earth. He lost contact each rotation with mission control and with uh, Aldrin and Armstrong who were on the moon. He couldn't talk to him on the radio because he was on the dark side of the moon. And NASA had this to say about uh, his being alone. They said, not since Adam has any human known such solitude. And that struck me as really intense. But then I thought for a second, I thought, you know, they're right. I get what they're trying to say. But also, Jesus experienced more loneliness even than Michael Collins did. Because Jesus was abandoned by his father so that you and I could be welcomed, could be adopted into God's family. And that's really something. But there's more to it than that even. Because during his interviews, uh, Michael Collins, you know, all three of them were interviewed. They became very famous after they uh, landed. And I want to share with you Michael Collins' words when people asked him about how lonely he felt and what it was like to be out there. He didn't actually feel lonely, he said. And this amazed me because I feel like I would have felt very lonely. But he said the feeling wasn't loneliness, but awareness, anticipation, satisfaction, confidence, almost exaltation. And he said it was because he knew that he was as, an, as essential a part of the mission as were Aldrin and Armstrong. And so I have one more verse to share with you today. <laughs> I have one verse to share with you today. I was going to share more, but we're running out of time. Ephesians 2 verse 10. For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. A second piece of good news that we have today is not only have you been made a part of the family of God, been adopted into his people, but he's given you a part, an essential part of his mission in this world. He's given you work to do to reach out to the people who are around you. Maybe that means helping out with the household chores or helping kids with their homework. Maybe you're living all alone. And that means getting some house projects done so that you're freer to volunteer and to be hospitable when all this quarantine stuff is over. I can't tell you how this is in your life, but I know that God has made you a part of his family and he's made you a part of his mission. He's given you work to do. And so uh, rather than wallowing in loneliness and continuing just to think only about how terrible it is that we can't meet together, our hope in Christ means that we get to focus on the ways that we can reach out towards other people. Let God bless you in that endeavor. God bless your week.